Hello, fellow scientists and engineers. I'm Quantic Dev. Coded message for Sergeant Saruhas, Command and Communications Center. And even though I developed software, I studied semiconductor physics and electronics. I also worked at my university's Nuclear Research Institute in Particle Accelerator Facility, designing control systems for about two years. Today, I will review the infamous Black Mesa Research Facility. I will try to compare it to a real nuclear research facility, though I'm pretty sure that Lord Gabon didn't budge on the scientific accuracy of his creation. Before jumping into the Black Mesa Research Lab, let me show you what a real nuclear research lab looks like again. And this is what I've done during my time there. I've created the first design of the control systems of the facility, and I've written the first version of the facility's control system software. After two years, I jumped 100% in the software engineering, so I couldn't witness the finalization of this project. However, I should still have a pretty good understanding of these types of research labs. So let's jump in and assess Black Mesa. All right, here's some background info. Black Mesa is the infamous research facility built around an abandoned Cold War intercontinental ballistic missile line silo in the New Mexico desert. So presumably this place is going to be very fancy. By the looks of it, we are starting a decent big tram station. I guess traveling by tram is better when your facility is built not only above the ground, but also below it. Well, this is roughly how the entrance of my research lab looks like. And welcome to the Black Mesa transit system. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. There is a lot of security personnel around. We only had two at our building, and maybe a dozen at the main campus entrance. I guess they want what happens in Mesa to stay in Mesa. One hundred and five. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Well, this ride looks mostly automated and it's going very smooth. Of course, behind the scenes, there are systems like this in place that is keeping all the automation running smoothly. Again, this is a design that I made during my time at the research lab. Automation like this is not a build and forget job though. It requires non-stop maintenance. All right, there are bored, tired scientists sitting around the lobbies. Pretty typical. Hmm. This room looks more like an industrial site than a research site. What are they building now? Two sector C test labs and control facilities. If you're intended to All right, technician repairing and scientists watching. Also very typical. You will need to return to the central transit hub in Area 9 and board a high security mm, They are building a giant rocket, apparently. Why are you building a giant rocket now? Well, I'm gonna stay positive and assume that the payload is scientific. System, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Wow, that's the kind of lobby that I would like to see in a research facility. It's one heck of a view. I guess being located in the middle of the New Mexico desert has its upsides, eh? The best we had was a rose garden. And every single scientist was crowding it for smoking. At all times. Oh yeah, we are going down the river bed. It must have cost a lot to drill through all these mountains. I guess it might be worth for the top secret research. Though nuclear research isn't all that secret anymore. Keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Does every single passenger have to listen to this lecture every morning? Seems a bit excessive, given that riders are mostly PhDs. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disable... This is a site for sea. A cargo helicopter, I assume. All right, this is somewhat normal. There are a lot of times that you must transport very sensitive and quite expensive scientific equipment and do it safely. 
Having a private transport is a significant convenience. However, it's mostly going to be a small copter at best. This is one big seal. What do they have in there? King Kong? Oh, what a surprise! More security personnel. The entire army is here. By the way, while we are traveling, this is how the control systems for these type of facilities look like. Pretty much everything is done in software, with pages after pages of buttons and data output. I've written the software that you see on the screen right now, but I never finished it, as I changed jobs. If we zoom in, this is roughly what a small section of the control system software looks like. A lot of data, and a lot of buttons. Clicking the wrong button will not be catastrophic, as there are always multiple safety systems in place, though you could still destroy the entire experiment. And this is how we mostly program these control systems. It's mostly visual. Even though there is still a ton of coding, the main system configuration should be accessible to scientists, so there is always some form of graphical programming language slapped in front of the main control modules. Okay. The Sector C line is a long journey, and apparently we are going all the way. This is really nice though. You go through the entire game map that you will be playing for the next 10 hours or so. Such a good introduction to a game. All praise Lord Gaben. If you don't know, Gabe Newell, or better known as Lord Gaben, is the creator of Half-Life game. Oh, those are some powerful acts. No protective glass or anything in front of them, and we are riding right next to them. Nice. Am I wearing glasses? I see halos. Yes, I'm wearing glasses. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Nope. Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. Never. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, Biotechnology Wait, this could have been me. or other high tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa that is a facility giant mechanical is an mantis. equal opportunity employer. While waiting, let me show you how a part of a facility like this looks from above. Again, this is one of my designs. A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel. Okay, we are going to the center of the earth apparently. I also realized that the giant mantis is autonomous. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. This does not look safe at all. Feels like we are taking a hike by the rivers of Chernobyl. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Good morning, mate. Yes, I am. Can't even jump down. Gabe won't let me. Barney, pretty scared of that. Bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Wait, is that the game code? It would be hilarious if it was. I'll Google it later to see. It looks real though. Alright, more security, more doors. We are definitely trapped in here.
Wow, that's one heck of a lobby. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. You seem to be using Windows. The business side of research is always Windows. And the rest is mostly this so called Scientific Linux. It is, it was like that in my time. They need you in the Please test room. Alright, let me have a seat for a moment. I love the side markers on the walls like this. Makes finding the right section much more straightforward. Though these don't have the direction indicators on them, so you won't know which direction you are going. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. I'm sorry, mate. Scientific work as usual. Drat. Doctor Ben Truman. Oh, would you look at that? Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Well, this is one accurate IT room for a research facility. The right number of high-tech servers combined with old-school knobs and CRT TVs. Even though newly built facilities are now 100% software controlled, there are still some manual knobs and circuit breakers around as a last resort. As a matter of fact, this is how a modern controller room looks like. Well, this is it, fellow scientists and engineers. Facilities like this generally also have living quarters, so I'm sure that there are a lot more to explore. But I will leave it up to you to investigate Resto Black Mesa Research Compound. If you want to see my real-world engineering videos, like my algorithm series, check out my playlist. If you are too impatient for videos, head over to quanticdev.com, where I try to publish most of my videos in article form. And if you want to see my future engineering videos, don't forget to sub. And I will see you on the next one. Gordon, please.